Once the machine has been removed from the box, you will need to unclip the locking clips located on the lid of the machine and remove any accessories stored in the bin. Then, fit the vacuum bag as demonstrated and replace the lid aligning the carry handle with the cord wrap and hose outlet and then push the clips in firmly. Next, attach the hose and turn anti-clockwise until secure. Then push the metal extension tubes together and attach the hose and then fit the floor tool. Next, you will need to attach the cable into the socket at the rear of the machine and make a loop then slide into the retaining clip and secure. The machine is now ready to use. To turn the machine on, Press the power button once. The vacuum will start on the highest power setting. To adjust the power setting, press the eco button as demonstrated. To clean the carpets, push the switch on the floor tool forwards and vacuum as shown, making sure you move your body rather than just arm movements to reduce fatigue. Alternatively, to clean hard floors, the switch on the floor tool should be pushed back. For cleaning surfaces or ledges above the floor, attach the dusting brush. For gaps or hard to reach areas, fit the crevice tool. Store the cable securely on the hook at the back of the machine. The extension tubes can be stored in the rear parking slot as shown. Emptying the dust bag. To remove the dust bag when it is full, Lift the locking clips on the lid and remove the dust bag by sliding it off the hose inlet as shown. Then replace with a new bag. After you have finished your shift, we recommend you remove and clean the filters to ensure the vacuum performs at its best. The foam filter can easily be removed from inside the machine. Clean as shown, then replace the lid as previously demonstrated.